Young friends, this is a cuckoo bird. Puff, puff, cocoa puffs, yum, yum, yum. Want to have some fun? Watch. Watch out because I'm... It happens all the time. It's because Cocoa Puffs are made with delicious Hershey's cocoa. Luscious little chocolate crisp corn puffs. Ah, he caught me by surprise. Oh no, I can't resist them. Another Big G cereal from General Mills. <laughs> Welcome! Well, it's one of those days again. The High Roller is back, shopping at Pop Figures with a really cool pop to show you. So this one in here, it's the sort of end of the trilogy, really. It completes a line of three. If you cast your mind back a month or so ago, I got Lucky the Leprechaun for Lucky Charms, add icon. Glow in the Dark variant, by the way. Uh, then soon after that, I got the Flocked Tricks Rabbit for Trick Cereal. And then there's one more ad icon in like a little range of three. And I've got it here today. You knew I was going to get it. I said I wanted it and I said I will get it sooner or later. Expensive. We'll talk about the price in a moment. But um, I'm so happy to have got this. Can't wait to see it. Therefore, I'm going to get it open. Let's address the elephant in the room, the price. Once again, it's one I'm paying off over six instalments via lay-by. They're always interest-free, by the way, for anyone who hasn't used lay-by before. And there's other lay-away options at Pop Figures as well, Klarna and Clearpay. But the price of this was £97.74. So, yeah. Out of the three in this line, is this the cheapest one, technically? I mean, I only spent £40 on Lucky the Leprechaun, but that was with £60 worth of Freddy Franks used. Usual decent packaging from Pop Figures. No, I'm not going to count them, although there does look quite a lot in there. Oops. And another Pop Figures sticker as well. Okay, let's see what I've spent almost three figures on today. Ah, oh, marvellous. I think this was graded at 9.5 out of 10, by the way. So that's going to be near enough mint, really. Let's get it out of the protector. It is, of course, one of Pop Figure's own branded protectors with the embossed logo on the top. Very nice, good quality stuff. But the pop I'm going to show you... Ah, <laughs> so happy I've got this. It's number 9 in the ad icons representing the Cocoa Puff cereal, a General Mill cereal in the United States, I believe. This is Sonny the Cuckoo. Ah, oh, yes! So yeah, box condition looks absolutely spanking gorgeous to me. I don't know why they've knocked off half a point, really, for the grading, but um, from the photos that I saw on the website, I couldn't see anything wrong with those either. So here's the line on the back. Sonny the Cuckoo is number nine. And then we've got the flocked Tricks the Rabbit. There is an unflocked one. They were both up on Pop Figure's site for a while, but I think the unflocked version, which is worth less anyway, so I'm kind of glad I got the flocked version of Tricks, even though, as you know, I can't stand touching flock pops. Uh, number 11, Lucky the Leprechaun. There again, I've got the variant. I've got the glow in the dark version, which is probably worth less than the normal one, but they both look very identical. And I think the glow-in-the-dark version is probably a little bit nicer, just simply because it glows in the dark. Right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get Sonny the Cuckoo out. So Cocoa Puffs is a cereal that we don't get over here in Britain. For anyone who thinks they might be similar to Cocoa Pops, as in Kellogg's Cocoa Pops, the cereal that we've had in this country for God knows how many years. Um, I mean, there's going to be some similarities, but I think really... Cocoa Puffs, from what I could see when I was looking at adverts and stuff on YouTube, they more like the Nesquik chocolate cereal, the sort of bigger, crispy balls, who were. 
<laughs> that turn your milk chocolatey rather than cocoa pops which are basically like chocolate flavor rice krispies anyway this is the mascot for cocoa puffs sonny the cuckoo he looks fantastic cartoony animals and birds when the um done in funko form i think funko always did a really good job and um, this guy looks fantastic he's got this orange plumage here with a big yellow beak comes right out that i think that's why he's sideways on in the box really because this beak is just too big for him to fit in a standard funko pop box little spiky bits at the top and around the back and then he's wearing like a strange sort of dinner jacket type thing here it's like a pink and white striped thing with a black bow tie I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be about He's got a spoon in his right, well, I can't really call it a hand, but there we are. Little sort of tail poking out there. Some really weird but um, interesting shapes to this pop. It's just, it kind of curves in a couple of places and it's just unusual. Of course, he's got his big yellow webbed feet as well. Love it. Which one is my favourite of the three? The General Mills trio, as I'll call them. I think really I've got to still stick with Lucky the Leprechaun because that was a grail for me and that's a word I've obviously been trying to avoid using too much particularly during these unboxings over the past month or so Lucky the Leprechaun, I really wanted that pretty much as soon as I started collecting Funko Pops like three years ago whereas Trix Rabbit and Sonny the Cuckoo as well to be honest I like them and I collect ad icons, so obviously they fit my collection. They were never ones I was particularly desperate for. But the thing with me and collecting Funko Pops, particularly at the moment, apart from some pre-orders that I'm waiting for, and we all know what Funko pre-ordering's like, there's not really any new release stuff that's, you know, your standard price that I want anymore. The only things I want now, apart from the stuff I've got on pre-order which isn't really that much compared to probably other collectors is like older vaulted and therefore rarer and more expensive stuff like Sonny the Cuckoo here so it's a case of put up or shut up in this house if I want it I've got to pay the money and that's why I really rate pop figures I know they're a company who aren't everyone's cup of tea for whatever reason and um, I get that for me personally I like to use them because I know they're reliable when it comes to being really the only UK company where you can source these kind of rare pops and know that you're gonna get them and you're gonna get them safely within a few days of ordering really and of course the lay by pain six option just makes it all the sweeter and the freddy franks as well let's not forget the freddy franks um, they've come in handy particularly as i already mentioned when i used 60 pounds worth to put towards lucky the leprechaun but this is sonny the cuckoo i'm so so happy that he's going in my collection today and I want to thank all of you for watching this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to give special thanks to my subscribers, each and every one of them. And, of course, all of my patrons. The Squad of Champions rises again. Well, maybe not literally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Please see all my usual Funko affiliate links down in the description text box. You can get lots of discounts on Funko products and protectors. There's also a discount for contents insurance. And there's my Patreon link and my Facebook group link down there as well. Lots to see and do. I'm going to go now. And I'm going to put Sonny the Cuckoo, a really colourful, fun character here. And I just dig these serial mascots. These ad icons of brands that some of them we're not overly familiar with here in the UK. But they're a lot of fun and they're a slice of American culture really and it's good to have them in the collection. And that's enough talking bollocks from me. I'm going to go now and I do hope that all of you will join Sonny the Cuckoo and myself next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers everyone. See ya!